Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn what is the difference between global and local in NPM. You might have seen this before. Some people say, if you want to install it, do it globally or uh, locally. And what are the difference? What are the benefits and something like that? So you, you might have seen some comments. If I open the comment line here and write view hyphen V, it will show me the Vue.js version. In the same way, if you write NPM hyphen V, it will show me the version of the npm here how this is going to work because these commands are installed globally what is locally then if you want to install any package with npm it will install that on that directory unless you say it is going to be installed globally let's see how it is going to work if i am supposed to install any framework for example if i write npm install react.js something like that it will install react.js in the my profile directory and it will create a node module folder for me and the, the my profile directory and install that here if i come and remove this part and write a f uh, the g uh, the g flag and then say react.js it will install that globally you should remember on windows your uh, command line should be run as administrator otherwise it is not going to work because it will install it globally. The, the way global is going to work, it is not going to install it in your directory. It will install it somewhere else. Let me show you where is that. If you go to the dr C drive, to the user directory, then to the, your own user, make sure from the view, your hidden item is checked here so that you can see the hidden files. Go to app data and then roaming. Inside this one, you can see all the folders here. For our purpose, we go to npm inside the npm as you can see there are some file with the cmd command at the end of them that is where we can write our command for example i have view the cmd means from the command line if i am running view hyphen v it is going to run this file if i am going to run view press it is going to run this file it is because it is installed in my profile here it means if I create another user in my computer, this command will, will not work for them because it is installed only for me. And when I run those command in, in my command line here, it is going to reference to this data. And how this command is going to reference to this data? Because we have registered a global variable to, the, uh, to our environment variable on Windows that reference to this directory. It means if I run any of this command, it will come and search in this directory and if they find such a file they will run that for example we have ng i will come here and say ng hyphen v it should show the angular as you can see with the version and the all other information about angular cli that's why we have ng here it is going to work like that so where is the environment variable in windows if you right click on this pc going to property then going to advanced system setting environment variables as you can see we have path here the path is the the things we need if you click on the edit you can see we have registered a path to our npm folder here is the user app data then roaming then npm so this is the same directory it means anything inside this directory if they have any of the those command those command will run automatically if you run them from command line for now i don't have react.js if i come here and write something like react.js it is not uh, recognized as command because i we don't have such a file here so let's see how you can install that globally if i come to the react.js as you can see the way you install it using npm install g G means global create react app. I copy this one and then I open the CMD or any other tools as administrator. As you can see now it is as administrator. Now I can install this one. Once I paste this one, I will install it. If it is not run as administrator, it will not be installed in this directory. Most of the time for Windows user, it is not working because you do not run your command line or your cmd as administrator let's install it now it will take a few seconds to install so we will wait yes it is finished 
Now if you see the directory here, we have a create react app the cmd here that we can reference for our application. Now using this command, you can create any uh, react application in your desktop in any folder you want. For example, if we come to the desktop or uh, any folder like web design or anything, let's say in the desktop, right click, open your command line here. I'm using git bash. If I come here, you know our command was create react app. Using this command, if you do not remember the command, feel free to go back to where you was. Uh, here, as you can see, the create react app is the command name. Now we have it here. And then you give them, okay, where was this one? You give an, uh, an application name. For example, react my react app. Press enter, it will create your react application in your desktop. As you can see, you come to the desktop. Here is my React application is creating. Now they have the package, the JSON file, and it is creating the packages and it will download all the folder. Now you understand that what is the difference between global and local. Locals are mostly in your directory and it's not going to work for the next project, but globals are going to work everywhere in your system. I hope it has been informative for you. Thank you for watching.